In the beginning, there was nothing. And then, bang, AEL was born. Astro's Electronics Lab brings you entertaining, sometimes silly videos relating to electronics for your enjoyment. Follow along with his frustrations and antics and maybe learn something in the process. Mmm, pizza, my favorite food. Greetings, the Astro 30 here yet again with a new box of PCBs. Now, that pizza was nice and hot. Anyway, that's irrelevant. Um, look at how this was received. It's kind of squashed. That's probably the worst PCB box that I've ever received. I don't know what the f happened to it, but it looks like something heavy has been placed upon top of it. So hopefully the PCBs are still alright. So I'll just cut this mangled box open. It's kind of disappointing. Um, but it is what it is, I suppose. So I just have to cut the tape as usual. Oh, it looks like the PCBs survived. That's the main thing. Here we go. Get rid of this mangled mess. So these are my new regulated power supply PCBs and I have actually modified these heatsink footprints here and actually given it the correct measurements. Not so much the uh, silk screen uh, for the where the heatsink surface is, but I've made the holes bigger. So I will cut open the packet. That's all I really need to do to get one PCB out. I don't need to cut the whole entire thing open. Turn it the right way up so the electrons don't fall out. Excellent. So what I want to know now is I just happen to have a heatsink handily lying around. Ah, oh, perfect. With a little bit of a tight fit, it goes in there. So those will work absolutely fine. And the heatsink doesn't actually hang off the edge of the board too much, so that's that's a good thing. So for now I've got to pull that back out, <laughs> which is easier said than done. Right, that's out. So what I have to do now is I have to assemble this PCB up and um, test it. Uh, but first I've got to go to the bog, to the Kazi, to the John, to the lab, to the loo, the, to the dunny, to the lavatory, to the privy, to the water closet, to the shit house, to the outhouse, to the can, or to the pot. Be right back. Okay, I've got the resistors and the diodes installed, plus the PCB pin for the ground. Um, I'm not going to take much footage of this because there's not really much point. However, I'm not going to install these two connectors yet. I'll install them a lot later, so it won't be installed in this video, but I will install the input connector. Um, just so I've got, because I've already got a plug made up that'll fit into that uh, socket. So I'll just solder him in, if I can so do so. Uh, this should only take about 15 minutes to assemble if, uh, you know, you're pretty well good. So that's done. So the next thing to do would be to install the capacitors, the smaller ones, I'll leave the larger ones to last. Then I'll put the heat sinks in because, well, they're almost the largest component. Actually, you know, I can install all the capacitors first because the heat sinks are larger than these ones. And then it'll be pretty much close to testing and then I can put the regulators in, of course. All right, so the next thing I do is put all the capacitors in and start with the heat sinks and then we're nearly completed in construction. I will put a link in the description to the PCB for this on PCB Way if you so wish to um, purchase one. Hmm, noisy prick. All right, now for the heat sinks because they're the largest component. One and two. And finally, number three. <clears throat> yes, well, they are a bit tight, but they will go in there. That one's not flush. 
That one is. That one is. Okay, perfect. Let's see how well I can solder to these without losing too much heat. Should be fine because these are just blind pads anyway. But because of the material on the other side, it's going to take the heat out of the soldering iron pretty quick. Which is what it's designed to do because it is a heat sink. But now, I've made these uh, holes 2.2 millimeters, and I actually did measure the diameter of the pin. And JCAR say it's 2 millimeters, and I measured 2.1. So I made it 2.2, just to give it a bit more wiggle room, just in case my measurements are out, like the measurements between pins. That's why it's a bit tight, it's because the, the measurements are slightly out. Because it's not to the exact millimeter, it's to the point of a millimeter. So it's very hard with KiCad or KiCad to actually get your measurements pretty accurate depending on the grid size. Okay, so those are the um, heat sinks installed. It's starting to look like something now. So all I've got to do now is uh, listen to that uh, leaf blower and install the regulator ICs with a little bit of thermal compound and a screw. So I've got to find some 5mm screws and my thermal compound and then uh, throw the uh, high season. I'm screwing it down before I actually uh, solder it. Let's get rid of some of this moisture crap. This, I'm going to have to get some better heatsink compound because this stuff is just junk. too much on that one. Yeah, that should be fine. Son of a bitch! Ran out of solder. Lucky I have a new one. There, completed, apart from the connectors. All right, now we can test it. However, first it's time for a pizza break. Mm. All right, the circuit's ready to test. I've just got some fly leads soldered to the bottom of the capacitors there just to make it easier to make the connection. I've got it hooked up to my uh, DC power supply. I'm just going to power the circuit on Nothing strange happened. So I measure across the 15 volt out, positive and ground. Yes, we've got 15 volt there. Uh, the same between ground and 15 volt negative. Yes, about 200 millivolts less, but that's fine. Finally, the 12 volt out, 12.6. Nice. That little circuit is working perfectly and uh, Works first time. That's just how I I like it. I don't like when stuff doesn't work. Uh, these capacitors are just pinched off the other regulator board that I built because, well, it's not going to be used. So I saved oh, the capacitors. That's the pizza repeating on me. I'm not going to bother load testing this because I've got to start getting ready for work. So all I wanted to do was assemble it, turn it off now actually, and test that it was working. It is, uh, being the LM317 and 337 respectively, they should handle uh, a load of about 500 milliamps just fine before uh, the regulator voltage starts dropping, so I don't really need to test with that. I tested on the breadboard, but it seems to be working fine. I will link that also in the description too. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to go down below and like, comment and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And this is the Astro 3 saying, See ya. Have a great day.